The challenges for lots of schools starting out with the implementation of tablets are time and money. There is never a right time that works for everything. Examinations, the curriculum, other initiatives and school holidays all seem to cause disruption. And of course, not all schools are in the fortunate position to be able to equip every student with a device at the same time. For most, it simply costs too much. Ultimately, this emphasises the need for planning. You cannot decide on Friday that you will start using tablets next Tuesday. There are some bigger issues that you should consider and integrate into your school development plan. School leaders and staff in the teaching and learning team should ask, why do you want to start using tablets in your school? What kinds of things do you want staff and students to be able to do? Who is going to get the tablets? How and when will they be used? And perhaps one of the most fundamental questions is how will you monitor and evaluate the implementation programme? All of this needs to be approached by a team and not an individual. Whilst your ultimate aim may be a one-to-one -one personalised curriculum for 500 students, you cannot do this with 10 devices, so you need a strategy and a shared plan. Lots of schools start out with enough devices for one or maybe two classes. The best idea is if you can undertake a pilot implementation programme with one class of students and a few teachers before you enable more students to access the tablets because this allows you to be aware of some of the bigger challenges in your school.